Hi my friends, welcome to Maverick channel. It is a lovely day out here and um, this is a short video about the new press release that um, the FAA sent out yesterday the 5th. Um, it is concerning remote identification. So um, it has selected eight companies that uh, it has been working with or vetting since 2018, December 2018, um, to come up with some kind of uh, method of of identifying drones while airborne um the interesting thing about it is that um once you go airborne uh your drone drones will be able to transmit to some central system that those eight companies uh will be working on and um the eight companies selected by the faa are um airbus Airmap, Amazon, Intel, OneSky, Skyward, and T-Mobile and Wing. Okay. Uh, like I said, the, the FAA has been vetting these companies since 2018. Now, several questions come in mind. Um, are we going to be required to pay um, to be able to get this remote identification? Because it is said that people... Um, uh, sorry, companies will have to apply via FAA.gov to be one of those that are um, giving or providing um, um, those remote identification. If a company is to provide it, it means that uh, we will have to pay for that remote identification. So not only um, are we going to pay to register a drone, but we're going to pay to have that remote identification. The second question that came to my mind is um, uh, drones like Mavic Mini, which we are not required to register with FAA before flying in the US airspace. Um, are we going to require a remote ID for those drones or are we going to pay for that drone as well for the drones like Mavic Mini as well? So. Um, it is kind of tricky um but it is what it is we need the the security we need to be able to be identified while um flying i think it is good i think it is a good idea but now all the other extra costs that will come with that um is what is a little bit mind boggling how much will that be and if you put together eight big companies, eight of them, Airbus, Airmap, Amazon, Intel, OneSky, Skyward, T-Mobile, and Wing, to come up with that technology, it's not going to be cheap, I think. I don't think it's something that we will pay five bucks for a remote idea. It might be. It might be cheaper. But um, given the fact that those companies would spend a lot of money developing the technology, and coming up with the rules and then other companies would have to apply to supply those IDs um, it makes me feel like we will be paying some money I don't know how much <laughs> but I don't know I don't know how much but we will be paying some money to to register to get those IDs and I don't know what they will do. Another question is I don't know what they will do with the drones that we already have. Are we going to be able to still fly those drones? Are we going to be required to get the IDs for those drones? Um, so it's all rest to see. We will see in the future what, um, <laughs> what, <laughs> what the FAA uh, comes up with. Um, but um, guys, I just thought I should put this video out there. So watch out very soon. We will require um, IDs to fly, which is good. Um, I don't know if um, the ID, the current ID that we have for other drones right now will become obsolete. Maybe we will no longer need those IDs since we will have that remote ID identification. Maybe um, the registrations that we do right now will be obsolete. I, um, I don't know yet. It wasn't mentioned yet. They only released... Um, um, this uh, statement that they've selected eight companies and maybe because they're still coming up with the rules and regulations um, all the registration that we are doing right now 
um, will become obsolete. Another question is if they bring a new rule that states that um, we are supposed to transition from the old registration with FAA, the old process of registration with FAA to this new remote ID registration, um, will there be some kind of reimbursement? Will the FAA reimburse our money back um, for the drones that we've already registered? I don't know, but well, it's five bucks. If they don't register, no big deal. But I just thought I should put this out there that hey, there is a new rule out there that is in the making. It will be for our safety, it will be for our good, and it will force drone pilots to fly in the right location. You will not go and fly somewhere <laughs> that is restricted because you know that you will either receive the bill or you will be sanctioned in one way or the other so guys thank you um, leave a comment below have a good day and be safe out there bye bye for now <laughs>